Hi, in this episode of JavaScript for IoT, I'll show you how to control a push button with Node.js. As I explained in the previous episode, JavaScript is not as good as C in terms of performance, but it's still a convenient tool for rapid prototyping of Internet of Things. The required hardware includes Raspberry Pi, power supply, micro SD card with Raspbian, a push button, two male to female jumper wires, and a breadboard. The tutorial is appropriate for Raspberry Pi with 26 or 40 pins, therefore you can use any model or version. In this case, I am using Raspberry Pi 2 model B. There are different types of push buttons depending on their mechanism. I am using a push to make button. It is similar to a button of a keyboard. When the button is pressed, it makes a contact with the electronic system and breaks the current process when the button is released. You can see the difference in the video. I'll use the red button for the rest of the tutorial. I have to wire the button to ground and to a GPIO pin of my Raspberry Pi. After that, I have to plug a micro SD card with the Raspbian GNU Linux distribution to ensure that the board is connected to my local network and to the internet, and finally to plug the power supply. Now I need to set up the software for the development environment. I have logged into my Raspberry Pi through SSH. You can do the same or just open a terminal application on the Pi itself. I have already installed Node.js and NPM. I'm cloning with Git the source code of my open source example from GitHub. The next step is to go into the directory of the example and to run NPM install in order to get all required dependencies. Finally, I have to run sudo node.js button button.js. This JavaScript example implements an algorithm suitable for a reset button. You have to keep the button pressed for 3 seconds to see the output in the command line on your Raspberry Pi. Nothing will be displayed if you press the button for less than 3 seconds. How does it work? The source code is available in GitHub. The JavaScript file button.js is executed by Node.js and its dependencies are installed by npm depending on the configuration from package.json. This example relies on package wiring pi which provides JavaScript binding to the popular open source C library wiring pi. Node.js is very convenient for asynchronous events. My JavaScript handles all interrupts when the button is pressed or released. On press, the JavaScript starts a timer for 3 seconds. It prints OK in the command line only if the button is not released before the expiration of the timer. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos.